Jamie Beck Alexander is director of Drawdown Labs at Project Drawdown, a non-profit organization working on climate change solutions. She joins us now from the United States. And so let me start by getting your thoughts on this at this climate summit, because, of course, it has been hailed as producing a roadmap for genuine change. But there's also been criticism that these funding pledges don't go far enough, that it's not actual grant money from richer countries to poorer countries, but more in the form of, uh, of, of debt relief. I think that's exactly right. The you know the focus of the summit is extraordinarily important, um, and that's to you know to figure out how we provide the vast amounts of financing that's needed to address these intersecting crisis crises that we're facing. Um, so yes, it does. The focus of the the summit was extraordinarily important, but it also, as you heard from your last guest, misses a critical opportunity to go at the heart of the problem. It sort of plays around the edges and looks at where we can you know provide debt relief. And where we can, you know, sort of, sort of nibble around the edges, but we're missing the critical opportunity to get at the elephant in the room, which I think is redirecting billions of dollars from fossil fuels and the ultra, you know, rich countries to address the climate crisis on behalf of those who don't have that, um, you know, that that level of financing available. So, what did you make of that call then from the French President Emmanuel Macron? Because he was talking about global taxes on uh, shipping, aviation, even wealth to fund climate action. Yes, I mean that's what is needed. I think the the the, the problem with these summits is that they're they're framed on the basis of commitments, long you know, sort of unbinding long-term ideas instead of these you know countries coming to together to to say here's what we have done here's what we are doing here's how we're leveraging you know the the finance that's locked up in these you know in these big institutions and banks and fossil fuel companies and so i think the 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 issue here is around what progress are we actually seeing you know as you know there was um a decade ago, there was $100 billion committed at a summit just like this one. Um, and so far, we haven't met that pledge. So I think I think this today was a, a good step at, you know, kind of world leaders saying, OK, we need to we need to we need to show up. We, we have recognized that we have failed to, you know, to to make good on our promises. Um, but I think we're all sort of waiting for those promises to be to be met. And there is also this, this tension over tackling the climate crisis versus development. The incoming president of the World Bank, Ajay Banga, saying that there has to be a new vision forged for the institution so that it doesn't just look at lifting people out of poverty and, and easing economic hardship, but also there being a focus on the climate price crisis. But the thing, of course, as you know, many poor develop, developing countries say that that sort of climate action impedes on their... Uh, development. The incredible thing about climate solutions is that they also often address poverty. They often help, you know, poverty alleviation, human health. Climate solutions are not just climate solutions. So climate and poverty are extremely deeply in, in, inextricably, in, inextricably linked. Um, but we can address both through many climate solutions. So there are climate solutions that address both, you know, the nexus of climate and poverty or climate and human well-being, like health and education, gender equality. And these are solutions like indigenous land tenure, helping people keep their land so that they can preserve that land from being deforested in the first place or clean cook stoves. That's mm. an important way for, you know, people inside their households, especially in lower and middle income countries, to clean in a way that's better for their health and better for the environment. So there are solutions that do both. Um, and investing in those solutions is absolutely critical. Jamie Beck, Alexander, always good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.